Hello everyone, and welcome back to our Champions of Meandir gameplay video series. I'm Alvin, the designer and game director for Champions, and I'm here with Nick and Zach. If you're new here, and you'd like to learn how to play this game, please check out our Learn to Play Champions of Meandir video playlist. Link to it will be in the video description. And just a quick reminder that we rely on viewers like you to help our channel grow. Liking, subscribing, and sharing are easy and free ways to show your support. If you're interested in joining us for a future episode, feel free to reach out in the comments and we'll see if we can make it happen. You can also leave a comment to help us improve or let us know what you'd like to see next. Okay, let's introduce our decks for today, starting with Zach. Today I'm playing the Kalitzo Money Pile. For those unaware, Kalitzo is a triple aligned combination consisting of red, white, and blue. It's all my favorite cards in a big pile. Wonderful, excited to see what your favorite cards are. All right, next up we have Nick. All right, today I'll be piloting Bailey in her adventure in the scrap heap. We're going to uh, just be churning that through our deck and, and trying to find items to blow up to satisfy her insatiable uh, lust for, for scrap. Cool. Yeah, all right. And finally, we have me playing Harmony Carefree Idealist. The goal of this deck is simple. I'm trying to play as many unique denizens as I possibly can, and we'll see how that works out for me. That's it for the intros. Mulligans have been completed. Let's begin the game. Oh. So, on my turn, I will get my gold, I will play this location, as well as this location. I'll use the arrival from Dangerous Path to look at the top card, putting this card on the... Uh, leaving it on top, actually, taking my free draw, and then I'll go ahead and play this card, looking at the top card again. Uh, okay, I think I'll probably keep that. And then, for my turn one, I will play Kalnea City of the Light. As you all know, if you've watched this show for any given amount of time, we all love having this in our opening hand because uh, the player who plays it gets to draw a card while everyone else gets to look at the top card of their deck. And I'll draw a, a card. Uh, and I'll just go ahead and abandon this right now. Draw a card so that no one else gets to benefit from the global alignment. And then I'll use my one gold to play this card here, the Chromatic Ring, aligning myself to all alignment types. And I think that's a good enough first turn. Pass. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Start my turn. I'm gonna drop a hidden crag. I'm gonna drop bomb research. Yikes. I'm gonna take my free draw. And then let's see here. I'm gonna play a walled path as well. Arrival, look at the top. Uh, put that on the bottom. Well, I, I guess that's all I can do. I'll pass. All right. Well, I am upset to have missed out on Kalnea value, but because I know what the top part of my deck is, we're gonna play the dangerous path. Draw ah. it first, and then use the arrival of Dangerous Path to look at the next one, because I want oh, it. Oh, cool! Little little value. I'm happy yeah. to see that something. Love it. Top one. Yeah, we'll keep that there too. All right. So then, I will play Hidden Flower Patch. Mm -hmm. Use a gold to put a search counter on it. Get us moving next turn, maybe. That's all for me. All right. Get my gold for turn. Draw a card. All right. Sure. I like your play so much, Nick, that I'm going to copy it. I, too, will play Hidden Flower Patch. Zoinks. Putting one search counter on it. And then I will also play this card. Ask for donations. Let's just pass that way. Okay. Start by putting a counter onto Bomb Research. Let's see here. Play a Quiet Path. Now fully aligned. Uh, look at the top. Who needs Kelman? So put that on the <laughs> bottom. Yeah, no kidding, right? I will take my free draw for turn. I'm going to play a Stern Supervisor. Ooh! And I will have Bomb Research deal a damage to the Chromatic Ring. Yep. That will be my turn. All right. Well, with the combo like Stern Supervisor, Bomb Research, maybe I play different things this turn. We'll see. We'll see. Mm -hmm. We'll uh, gain our gold, take a free draw. I knew what that was, of course. Let us uh, think about this for just one second. And uh, another hidden count uh, counter on this hidden flower patch. So we go my gold, and we will use it for an unruly vandals. <laughs> Yikes! Let's get unruly smashing. Unruly vandals, huh? Yeah. Well, we'll wrap that up for my turn. Back to you. Yikey, yikes! All right. Uh, grab my gold for turn. Put phase counters. Oh, you free draw. Okay. So the only alignment I don't currently have is blue. So I'm going to play Familiar Path choosing blue. And now I have the chromatic combination. Mm. So now that I have that, I'll go ahead and sell the chromatic ring. Not long for this world anyways. I'll also 
uh, use my ask for donations to go up one more. All right. I'm actually going to go ahead and use this right now as well to go up to six. And then I'll use three of that to play Crackdown on Crime. And then Down another three to play crime. my champion, Harmony, Carefree Idealist. All right. And because I have Lunar Crescent Enclave, a unique denizen enters play under my control, namely Harmony that I just played. So the Enclave is going to trigger, giving Harmony an extra health. And I'll pass it over like that. Okay. At a counter here, I also have a routine ability that I can use. Nick, uh, homie, we're besties, right? Um, we're tight. I... <laughs> yeah, we're tight, right? <laughs> I leave your unruly vandals alone. You leave my uh, stern supervisor alone. Uh... That's fair. Well, I played it because it was not in range, but if, if there's something else maybe behind these scenes, yeah, I, I think I think yeah. your stern supervisor. I don't well, think you should. Yeah, that turn or two. The 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 really the unruly vandals will not make an attack to your stern supervisor. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. So Boy. the stern supervisor is going to increase the activation limit of bomb research. Um, bomb research is going to uh, harmony. Yikes! All right. Last health. Uh, harmony is going to get smacked by the supervisor. <sighs> Man. All right. Poor Harmony. Reloading hippie, get back to work, she says. <laughs> you know, she does have a uh, a big old stick in her hand. <laughs> I don't think she's long for this world, so I'll play two farming sickles. Interesting. Um, I will put a search counter on Hidden Crag. I will take my free draw. That's going to be me. Sweet. All right. My turn to gain my gold. I think we should... Uh... Start with a free draw to inform what I do next. I'm going to make an attack here. My Unruly Vandals is going to try to put some pressure on some of these locations. Now, what do I feel like? We'll, we'll attack into your into your red, your dangerous path. All right. My denizen becomes hostile. I will use the aggression. We'll, we'll divvy up my uh, my hate here. We're going to have it destroy a farming sickle. Cool. Yep. Away one of them goes. Away they go. Moving forward, I'm just going to plan for some future turns with a bomb research start oh. my campaign campaigning of my own and remove distractions not good and i say all right get my gold get my phase counters draw a card all right yeah i guess this is the right call i'm going to use crackdown on crime to arrest the, stern, the supervisor. stern supervisor yeah yeah she's breaking uh, bottom of safety deck. with all that fabric everywhere yeah um so I think I'm just going to take my chances and abandon this now to get another card. And then I'm going to use my ask for donations to get another gold. Not that it really matters right now. Uh, so Zach, what is your intentions with this? Are you going to blow this up at this point or are you still after me? Um, I don't know. Are we besties? Good question. That's the question. <laughs> Was our deal off the table now? Oh, that's true. Uh, you're allowed to have more than one BFF, you know? If uh, coming of age movies have taught me anything, <laughs> yeah. Coming of age movies, eh? Um, this may be a waste, but I have to play my champion to just use my gold, even if it she could get bopped. Uh, and then Lunar Crescent Enclave is gonna trigger and give her one health. And then unfortunately, I can't really do anything else. I just if only I had one more gold, but alas, I do not. So I'm gonna end my turn, lose two gold, and pass that way. Okay. I take my turn. So Alvin. Yes, sir. That crackdown on crime, I don't want it to hit any of my thingamajings. Fair. Is there any any way I can convince you to not have it go my way? Uh okay, well that depends what you're gonna play, because Yeah, it depends on what you're gonna play. I can't I can't promise you it's not gonna hit Well, you. I do have a bargaining chip. I may have a bomb research. Oh, you have another bomb research? <sighs> Unfortunately, without knowing what, what you're going to play, I can't make any promises. As much as I don't That's want Harmony con. to get bopped again, I'm just going <laughs> to... You might play the scariest no thing con. I've ever seen no con. in a game of Champions of Meandir, so I can't make any promises. I'm sorry. All right, all right, all right. Well, I'll start by taking my free draw. Mm -hmm. I'm going to play a familiar road. I'm not going to name anything because I'm immediately yep. going to abandon it. Play a dangerous path to look at the top 
kind of like that, but no, it'll go in the bottom. All right, if I play a Tren and I leave Harmony alone, will the Crackdown on Crime not go at me? Okay, that I can say yes. I'll make a deal there because I, I'm i willing to put up with a Tren. Okay, yeah. so here's what's going to happen. Bomb Research, I'm going to use it on the Unruly Vandals. Put the line's over. Active zone. I will put a search counter on Hidden Crag, going up a gold. I'm going to play my champion, Tren, and then I will put a Farming Sickle mm -hmm. onto Tren. That is going to be the extent of my turn. Yes. A Farming Tren, I can tolerate. Oh, yeah. All right. Let's start my turn. He won't be scoring you any points anytime soon anyways. Not quite yet. Yeah. Up my phase counters, mm -hmm. I think, because with five cards in hand... Yeah, with five cards in hand, we'll start with Remove Distractions. We'll use that ability. Draw two cards, then discard a card. Cool, yeah. Mm -hmm. Optimal. Love the tight optimal plays. You love optimal plays, don't you? I love, love it. Scene. Sequencing and everything. So cool. Choices are tough here. So you have seven amazing cards, eh? They just all do sort of something that I want it to keep. You know, you build a deck, you like all the cards, right? <laughs> yeah. I think uh, with the number of these effects I have, we'll, we'll be discarding uh, a location. Uh, now we'll take a free draw. Yep. You have the most sculpted hand. The most sculpted hand that anyone could ask for now. You got you to dig for these items, right? They're in the scrap. They're deep in the scrap heap. I got to find some, some, some yep. sources. And uh, with that said, I think we found one. Pay two for Bailey. Play Restraining Order. She, uh, she dug something order. up. Ooh, okay. Now have bomb research. Yep. Set fire to this nasty sheet of paper right away. <laughs> Bailey cackles with glee. Very cool. And I gain four points. As you do, as you do. Like you do. And I think to keep the ball rolling, we will play another bomb research oh. for our remaining gold. Another All right. This research. is like the ultimate setup for a Bailey deck. Now you just pop out items over and over. I really hope I draw into my termination notice, or you do. <laughs> exactly. I really hope you don't. Yeah. But we're going to see. It's your turn. Uh, all right, so yeah, I'll go ahead and sorry, I get my gold, get my face counters, free draw. Uh, let's see here, let's see here. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna have Harmony attacking to Bailey, dealing two damage to herself and zero to to Bailey, turning her hostile. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and use this to get one gold, completing that campaign. We're gonna play Ava, Unwavering Optimist. One, two, hey. three. So Ava enters play. Both of these guys will trigger. Lunar Crescent Enclave first, giving one health, and then Harmony, giving another health and scoring myself two points. And then I'm going to use Crackdown on Crime on Bailey, because that's the only target besides things I want to use. There um, she goes. And then for my final three gold, I will play Termination Notice on one of your bomb researches. Oh. Banishing. So you didn't have to hope very much, did you? And then I will end my turn, scoring myself four points because I have one denizen that has less than a starting health and didn't enter my active zone this turn. Pass. Okay, starting my turn. Take a free draw. Well, I'll activate Ren's farming sickle ability. I will play a efficient workflow. Uh-oh. I will abandon my hidden crag to draw a card. Okay, so I will use Trend's Reconsider ability. Nice. And it uh, didn't do a whole lot, but that's okay. All right. Hopefully Angle. you draw into your termination notice now. Phase counters. Yeah, true. Uh, let's, uh, again, do the same thing. Start with remove distractions for hand size and all that. Discard Thief in the Night. Oh. As, uh, I don't see too many other uh, items being played over there. Yeah, not with all those bomb researchers. I, I, when they when those are gone, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Uh, it'll be too late for that. So we'll we'll draw a free card. Nice, very nice. Okay, we'll start with the hidden crag. I'll abandon the dangerous path to draw another card. Cool. Play a master craftsman for three. Cool. And then a black mora powder for one. <laughs> and I'm gonna make uh, Ava over there just. Uh, she, she discovered some of the some of those flowers in there have a little bit of a dizzying effect, so <laughs> sacrifice All right. that. She's of no use in, for the purposes of scoring points anymore. No. 
And with that, that's my third card. So I will use Inspiration on Master Craftsman to fetch a non-unique item card. Yeah, but we'll just, for safety, I will reveal to you and put into the hand Termination Notice. But yeah, okay. too much gold for all that this turn. Also, I just spend it for the Inspiration to fetch. And one more thing to do would be, yeah, use that Bomb Research. Um, bam, bam. So take care of Harmony. Let's finish it with that. Pass to you. All right. Get my goal for turn. Free draw. Hmm. What is up with these draws? Well, I have a useless 1-3. That's not doing anything. But I guess I'll just spend this turn being super control -y. So I'll play another Crackdown on Crime. And then I'll play uh, Declare Guilty to put the Master Craftsman on the bottom of your deck, Nick. Vanished again. Yep. All right, and we'll get a little risky. I think uh, I'll say goodbye to my blue alignment, abandoning Familiar Road to draw a card. All right, and then I'll pass that way. Yay. Putting a counter on efficient workflow. I will start by taking my free draw. I'm going to play a quiet path. I'll look at the top. I will keep that there. Play a cunning strategist for three. Abandon to draw a card. I will use Trend's Farming Sickle ability, play a Crackdown on Crime. Ah, uh, you had one too. I'm just not going to play anything for six more turns, and we'll see how that plays out. <laughs> I'm going to reconsider with Tren. Then I'm going to play a Stern Supervisor. Uh-oh. Okay. That'll be, uh, that'll be my turn. All right. And for me, gain my gold, up my phase counters. Yeah, we'll... Uh... We'll not let you crack. We'll not let you do uh, that much more efficiency over there. Mm. So I will play termination notice and banish that campaign. Uh, for me or Alvin? Oh, Sorry, efficient the efficient workflow one. I'm not that actually yeah. concerned about crack on a crime. Then two more gold for Bailey. Mm -hmm. Replay Bailey. One more gold for nice. obstructive roadblock. Bomb research will then target it. Smashy, smashy. smashy I'll gain smashy. four points. Campaign. And now with cards played, we will use. Well, we'll take a free draw for the turn. Look at that sequence. And we'll use remove distractions to draw two more. Woo! Discard one. Look at that sequencing. Oh, there's discard choice. Never easy. <laughs> I think we'll drop another d thief into the night. Aww. They're just coming and going. It's, it's too bright out for them. All right. Uh, yeah, I think that's that's an effective turn. Let's pass back to you. Uh, all right. Get my goal for turn. Draw a card. All right, so yeah, let's go ahead and have the Ava that's still got no abilities attack into that, turning her hostile, losing one health. All right. And then this... I'll have the crackdown, crackdown on the cunning strategist. Yikes. Uh, all right, so yeah, I'll abandon this to draw a card. And then I'll play this decorated path, looking at the top card. Do not want that right now. All right, so now that we've got the Thief of the Knights out of the way, I'm going to play Dr. Smashington. Two yep. gold, and then I'm going to play Outmaneuver. Uh, I'm not aligned to blue, so I'm going to have to spend alignment tax, but that's totally worth it. I'm going to Outmaneuver Ava to get her back to my hand, because mm -hmm. I want her point scoring capabilities back. I'm kind of afraid to play anything else, honestly, so I'm just going to go ahead and pass like that, losing my gold. Go ahead, Zach. All right. Well, counter on Crackdown on Crime. Take my free draw. Play a Statue of the Great Conqueror. Nice. Buffing Tren. Immediately, I'm going to abandon it. Drawing a card. I will. Yeah, I'll play a clever imitation. Nice. I'll reconsider with Tren. Are you going to use this farming circle ability? Yeah, why not? I'll play Dangerous Path. Look at the top. Put that on the bottom. Do I have to use Crackdown on Crime's ability? You don't have to, it's an activated ability. Oh, are you trying to curry some favor with Nick? Uh, I guess a little bit. Valid. Uh, I feel like that crackdown on crime is going for trend no matter what, though. We'll see. I mean, you are not currently leading in points, so I am less Leading afraid of you lot. than I am of Nick right now. Well, I will... I'll use crackdown on crime, and I'll banish Bailey. Back to the depths of the scrap heap, she'll dig in. Yeah, she'll be back. And I think... Um, at that point, that's really all I can do. Ah, oh, no three gold play? Uh, nope, I'll pass my turn. Gain my gold. 
Miss my campaigns. Yeah, I told you I was having a hard time getting this deck to work, but that is okay. We're having fun. Draw three cards. All good, man. Turn. There's still turns to be played. Neither of us have reached that high. Yeah, we'll see. How many chan how many unique denizens do I think Elvin is playing? Sorry, what I mean is playing next turn. Yes, how many indeed? Okay. Uh so we'll replay Bailey. Play a Restless Pyromaniac and a Black Mora Powder. Yep. And Restless Pyromaniac will um do his thing and uh burn out burn out this powder. No drugs in the workplace. No. Alright. Yeah, so uh gain four points and we got, we got simple little turns. We're, we're, we're simple people. We see item, we destroy item. Exactly. Fast turn. Simplicity is the key sometimes. All right. Get my gold, get my counter, draw no cardo. All right, sweet. Play location. Okay, so now I gotta do some math. Uh, uh -oh. One, two, three, okay. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna play harmony again. One, two, three, and Lunar Crescent Enclave is going to trigger, giving her one health. Then I'm going to, for one gold, play Mauricio, Gloomy Poet. And both of these are going to trigger. He's going to get two extra health and score me two points, going up to eight. And then I'm going to sell Dr. Smashington to get two more gold. And then I'm going to play Kazin, Freedom Fighter, with alignment tax, because I'm not aligned to red, for six. Both of these are going to trigger, score me two points and give two health to Kazin, bring me up to ten. Then Kazin is going to attack, so let's see. Yeah, I think I have to. So Kazin is going to attack into your Pyromaniac, losing the two health that he gained, but I think it's worth it. Uh, and then I'm going to activate his aggression, scoring myself one measly point. No slaves will be unlocked. He's just chilling in the Lunar Crescent Enclave rather than actually freeing slaves. Um, all right, and then here's what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to use Crackdown on Crime to banish my own Harmony because that's going to trigger uh, Mauricio's ability when Harmony leaves play. Uh, completing that campaign and scoring myself two points, going up to 13. And then, do I want to get risky again and abandon? I think I will. So I'll abandon the Verdant Path to get another draw. Awesome. I will pass my turn like that. Go ahead, Zach. Okay. At a counter here, at a counter here. I will start by taking a free draw. Um, I think I'm going to crack down on crime, Mauricio. Yep, there he goes. I'm going to use trend sickle ability, and then I will abandon dangerous path to draw a card. It's Potentially explosive we'll turn. Cunning strategist. Yep. I assume you're copying her. Copy her with clever imitation. Mm -hmm. Nice. And then going to reconsider using trend. Double insights now unlocked. Yeah, I'll play a walled path, look at the top, put that on the bottom, and then with the last bit of my gold, I'll play a Crackdown on Crime. Wait, what? Is that four Crackdown on Crimes in a single game? Yeah, I guess so. What a nightmare. I'm going to, using both Insight abilities, I will dismiss both Bailey and Kazen. Yep. There they go. And that is going to be my turn. No cards in hand. All right, for me, we'll start with getting my gold, taking a free draw. At this point, I sort of just have to hope that that Harmony over there just doesn't have enough unique denizens to surpass my point gain. It might be a race at this point, yeah. Can you can you bust up two more items and take it? Um, probably not. Um, two Grafman's Apprentices, and I guess we'll just uh. Play Necessary Sacrifice. Discard my hand, then draw four cards. I'll play a Dangerous Path. Look at the top card. I'll abandon Dangerous Path. Sorry, we left it there. I'll abandon Dangerous Path. Draw that card. Hidden Flower Patch. Pass. All right. My turn. Turn nine. Getting up there. Get my nine gold. Get my this. That. I can't win this turn. There's no line that I have to win this turn, so let's just set up for a really big turn 10. That's my strategy right now. Uh, yeah, we're, we're going to play to turn 10. So we're going to play Quest for the Vault for 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, paying alignment tax because I'm not aligned to green. Uh, and then we'll put a search counter on this. And then for 3 gold, I will play 1, 2, 3, Harmony again. The Enclave will trigger once again, making her a little bit stronger. 
and then I'll end my turn like that, losing my last gold. Passing it over to you, Zach. All right. Adding a counter to Clever Imitation. Adding a counter to Crackdown on Crime. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do is Trends Reconsiderability. I don't have any cards in hand, so I'm going to put zero cards on the bottom, and then I will draw a card. Value! Love to see it. I will then take my free draw for turn. I am going to use the sickle, because why not? I'll drop a call Nea. Ooh, okay. Hey, kind of helping me out draw. Here at this point. Oh. Love it. <clears throat> I will immediately abandon it to draw. I'm going to play a Bandit Raiders, and I will use Clever oh. Imitation to copy it. Yes, okay, cool. My favorite yep. combo. Um, let's see here. So, I'm going to have this Cunning Strategist dismiss your Harmony. Okay. I'm going to have Bandit Raiders 1 attack the Hidden Waterfall. Yep. Drawing a card. Well, I'll have this other Cunning Strategist dismiss the Craftman's Apprentice over here. Number one. Both of my dismissals have happened. Mm -hmm. um, this cunning strategist is going to attack this craftsman's apprentice. Mm -hmm. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have my next bandit raiders attack into the Lunar Crescent Enclave. Mm -hmm. Dealing five. Let me draw. Then I'm going to attack in with the cunning strategist on Lunar Crescent Enclave. And the last bit of damage I need on this hidden waterfall requires me to swing with Tren. Yep. Which All I right. will do. I'll play a court advisor. I'll play another court advisor. Very cool. So I will be gaining four point one, two, three, four passing turn. All right. Very cool turn. Suddenly it seems the Just control gonna... deck is like turned it all around. That's right. Do you win this turn though, Nick? There are ways. Okay, because if you win this turn, that would be kind of epic. It's not in my hand, let's put it that way. Okay. Draw one card. We'll abandon the Discovered Flower Patch to draw another card. Pretty sure I do not win. But if you don't win, then Zach doesn't win, then there might be another turn for me, so let's gain some points this turn. We'll play my Bailey back again. Mm -hmm. Seems like a common common theme on my, on my turns. <laughs> and then we'll play hey, man, she shows up to work order. every day. Yeah. She I mean she loves her job, so <laughs> she'll just she'll just show up and, and smash stuff like right now. She'll discover the fire within and burn Woo! the restraining order. All right. Yep. Now the question is, can you do that one more time and win the game? I mean, I guess I make you just remove all my stuff again. So play Craftsman's Apprentice, statue so out, statue out. Yeah, you already abandoned. Hidden crag, charge the hidden flower patch on the crags, all my gold, and then. use two plus zero plus ones on Bailey. All right, I'm poised. What do you got? All right. Uh, okay, so before I use my free draw, I'll go ahead and fetch. Uh, I'll fetch thusly. And then I will play this, look at the top card, and then now use my free draw. I'm going to play this, uh, use the arrival ability, look at the top card. I think I will keep that there. And then now I'm going to abandon this to draw that card. All right, so first things first, I'm going to play Chromatic Ring. Then I'm going to play Harmony, one, two, three, going down to six gold. And then I'm going to play Yumi, Avid Painter, one, two, three, scoring myself two points and buffing her by one. So Inspiration is unlocked because I played many, many cards. And of the card types I've played, I've played one, two, three types. Uh, was one of them a location, right? Yeah, one of them's a location, one of yeah. them's an item. Gotcha, gotcha. And denizen. So I'm going to go ahead and activate inspiration from Yumi, scoring myself three points, and producing an artwork token. And then I will sell that artwork immediately to get two gold. And then I will play Ava. One, two, three. Scoring myself another two points and winning the game. GG. GG's. All right, Zach. What in the world was going to go? What was what was going to happen next if it went went to your turn? Not a whole lot. <laughs> That's the honest answer. I do not have another unique denizen in this deck. Ah, uh, okay. I guess pile of my favorite cards just had one unique denizen. Mm-hmm. 
and uh, I didn't quite get there, but that's okay. Had fun. That's all right. Yeah, that was going to be a really crazy explosive turn on your next your next turn. All right, and Nick, what was uh, were you like one card off winning that turn? How close were you? I had a rust bomb. Oh, okay. so either I burn the rust bomb or rust bomb burns another item. We did we did what we could with our top of the deck, and uh, sixteen points is pretty good for having no denizen synergy basically whatsoever. Lots of crime was cracked down on, so. Yeah, that's right. Didn't have much by way of denizens that turn or that game, and you still managed to get up to sixteen. I think one thing it's that really, really benefit Harmony is the fact that Zach was running mostly uh, dismissal type removal, and Harmony doesn't mind yeah. if. For our viewers at home, if you're aware, Harmony just cares that you keep playing them, so putting things back in their hand is almost a good thing. Yeah, exactly. All right, so that'll do it for today's episode of Champions of Meandir Gameplay. A lot of fun stuff happened today, and yeah, I really enjoyed seeing what you guys came up with with your various decks. A lot of cool ideas and strategies. Very controlling game again today with four Crackdown on Crimes. And yeah, I hope you at home, the viewer, enjoyed what you saw as well. On behalf of Zachary and Nick, we'll see you all next episode.